So, I don't think I was cut out for this job in the first place. When I spoke to my mother about it, she told me that I should become a full-time housewife and support my husband. I see, so you really are resigning. Who knew that she had a boyfriend? I guess you can never tell with some people. For some reason, I felt a sharp sting through my chest, but I decided to ignore that. Congratulations, Miss Hayama. I'm a little sad, but I'm very happy for you. Excuse me? But what was that reaction? Did I say something wrong? Oh, I see what you're doing here. I get it. I didn't know you were actually quite shy. Shy? That's fine, if that's how you would like to handle it. Then I will only tell the bosses that I am resigning. Ed, what? Seriously, what is going on here? I was really confused, but she turned her back to me. And she headed towards our boss's office to hand in a resignation letter. And our boss, who never thought so highly of her in the first place, was very quick to accept her resignation. Everything was moving along so quickly that I didn't even have a chance to say anything. When I got home, is it just me or was she even more strange than usual? Usually, she isn't able to talk to anybody besides me, but she seemed oddly enthusiastic. Maybe because she wouldn't be returning to the office, she didn't care what anybody else thought of her anymore? And plus, I thought that her attitude towards me was a little bit weird too. And that reminds me, didn't she hand me an envelope earlier? Maybe there will be something written in there that will explain more about why she was acting like that today? That's all I thought. As I opened up the envelope... But marriage registration?! For some reason, inside was a marriage registration form. Not only that, but in the column under wife was her name filled out. Is she, is she serious? This kind of clumsiness isn't funny. I don't know what she was trying to give to me, but there is a limit to how clumsy you can be to mistakenly put the marriage registration form inside instead.